All right, so here is Sierra. I'll show you from the street view. So it is one house back um, from Andorra. It's a garbage day, so you'll see some cans. So at that stop sign, that's Andorra. There's this house here, um, and then this house. So all the houses on this side of the street are newer, and then you've got a couple little guys there, and then this newer one here. But you do have your garage, and since it's newer, you've got um, the hurricane protection. There is not, no, there is a gate on this side here. Let's look over here. And then there's not a gate on this side. And then that big circle thing there, that's your, um, oh my gosh, the board just escaped me. Um, this is on sewer, but that's the grinder pump. That's what it's called. My brain's not working for me today. <clears throat> so they have a glass door here in the front. So this one is a three bedroom, two bathroom, plus an extra space over here. So it's nice and open. You still got space over there for your um, kitchen table, but then you can also put seats here at the bar. And then this is where you would have your living area. You've got a hall closet right off the bat. Let me turn you around so you can see the front door. So we have a little transom window so you've still got some light coming in. So you've got the extra space here that could be your office. You could easily put the, a barn door on that for the cheapest way to close that off or just door it off. Then that room right there is your laundry room. There's also a pantry there, and that leads to the garage. And then your kitchen, eat-in space, obviously outside. This is your master bedroom. And then this hallway, there's a bedroom here, a bedroom here, and then your bathroom. So it's got the LVP flooring everywhere but the bedrooms, and that's carpet. So let's go to your first bedroom. This is in the front of the house. It's a really good size. If you wanted to, you could easily put two kids in here. And you've got a nice big window. Let me see if I can. There we go. So there's a couple little dings in the wall here and here and there. Nothing bad. Um, just from where they had pictures and things like that. Um, it does smell, smell a little bit like dog, but I also know that they just moved out. Nice size closet, actually. So, I think the dog smell will easily go away after, um, a good clean and, you know, just a little bit of time. The dog must have been in here a lot. Little things like this, I mean, that's easily cleaned, but. Here's the bathroom. So it does have a little linen closet. And there's some little scuffs, but you do have granite. And then a tub shower combo. And like, I mean, that just needs to be painted and or cleaned. But I will say, they didn't do a good job changing out their vents right here. As you can see. Now it's easily cleanable. Um, and like, it just needs to be cleaned. But, otherwise it looks pretty good.
her second bedroom. Again, really good size. It's a side window. This one is the only one that does not have um, a fan. Again, just needs, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it just needs some paint and some a good clean. It looks like maybe they had a bed right there, which I know is gross, but it happens. <laughs> this fan is not, this vent is not nearly as bad, but. And then, like I said, the house just needs to be cleaned. There's some areas that need to be painted, but for the most part though, like, I mean, it's a newer home. You do have the option to continue with your ADT. All right, so we're back in the living area. This room is huge. So you could easily add a closet if you wanted to, either like right here or, you know, do like a diagonal one. But this room is huge. It could also easily be, you know, the office and guest bedroom, even put a playroom in here if you wanted to. And then that window just goes underneath the front entry. I don't know if you can see that or not, but because the door's right there. And again, this needs probably where the dog's crate was. And I've seen some huge furniture in this floor plan here, like huge sectional couches. So it's it's really big space. Here's your kitchen. So you've got white cabinets. You've got some under um, cabinet lighting. I think it goes all the way across. It's just burnt out because they've also have three lights here burnt out. big sink there's no smells or anything coming from here and I left you two popsicles So the drawers are soft closed, but the cabinets are not. <laughs> Let's go this way. So here is a really good size pantry. And then your washer dryer. I don't know if these convey, so we'll have to ask. It does not smell. Kenmore's. Oh. All right. Oops. All right. So since this is a side entry garage, you do get a little tiny bit more space um, on that side. It does have pull down stairs, and then it might be a smidge deeper this way. But there's your boards for your windows. And your water heater. Oh, sorry. I wasn't sure if that was an outside light or inside light. So then your eat-in area here. It's not gonna seem like it's very big, but it's a good size. You wouldn't be able to put, here, let me go this way. 
You'd easily, I think you guys would be able to put your table here just fine, but if you had like a china cabinet or a hut or something, which I don't think you do if I remember right, you wouldn't be able to do that, but you could easily put your table right there. Like I said, it would be a lot brighter had they not had three burnt out lights. All right, so here is your master. And again, I've seen a ton of furniture in this room as well. Usually what people do is they put their bed along this wall with nightstands on the other side. You can fit like a long dresser here. You can fit a long dresser here, put a TV above it, all the things. And then the windows in this room go to the back. And we'll do that in a minute. And again, there's lots of burnt out lights, so it would be brighter in here. But you've got a jetted tub and your shower. And then your toilet closet. And then your closet. Oh, they need handles. So those are soft clothes as well. And then that LVP is in here as well. So let's go check out outside. And then I'll do, there's a view from the master. So again, just a little bit of, you know, just needs to be cleaned really. But we've got a little screened in porch here. The screen looks like it's in good condition. And if that is the, I really figured it was gonna be a bigger dog than that. <laughs> so yeah, this one does not have a gate on this side. And then your neighbors so I actually know the people that live in that house that's the corner house of um, Sierra and Andorra they have a little boy and a little girl the little boy I think he's probably in fifth or sixth grade by now but a good size yard and you've got a little it looks like wooded lot behind you some trees. Let's go take a peek on the set here. There's landmines back here. We can write that into the contract for them to clean it up. Yeah, that's a gate. It's gonna have to get pressure washed because that won't fly for VA. There you go. The screen does look good. I don't know if I said that or not, but yeah, the screen looks good. Alrighty. So this is Sierra.